That was a look at the new season of Dr. Pimple Popper, and she's coming in to pop some stuff today to give our skin a little love with homemade facial masks and remedies. It looks like the cooking segment. Uh, please welcome dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee. <laughs> You look yeah. gorgeous. You Why much. am I here? Because we're oh. going to torture you. Yes, we have some DIY oh, oh, facial masks. These mask. are foods, though. Yes, well, these are things that you can find at home, right? To do it yourself. Just be careful, though, I'm going to have to say, if you are having sensitivity or an allergy to any of these, I would not put them <laughs> yeah, on your well. skin. With so the hot make peppers, sure. Probably. How do we test yeah. it? How do we test it out first? What I do would, you recommend? I mean, if you really wanted to test something, you were concerned, I would spot treat something. You put a little bit behind your ear, like perfume, or on the mm -hmm. inside of your arm for a few days, and see if you react. Mm -hmm. That would be the key. But here, I mean, I'm going to assume. Well, well, I'm, I'm assuming that we they've checked with you. <laughs> no, no <laughs> checked with me. <laughs> no, I, mean, I thought I was going to haircut. Allergic to any of these things? <laughs> I don't I'll know mention that. Let's go. And then you'll tell let's me go down the line. Yeah, let's let's. So I'm not getting my hair done. The, uh, so what? these are, we can put it in your hair too if you want to. <laughs> these are so various different skin conditions. Okay. So the first one is for acne here. Okay, this is a great. honey, turmeric, and yogurt mask. And we have it there mixed up. So what you really want to do for acne is, right, you want something antibacterial, you mm -hmm. want something that's going to help clean out your pores. And so that's what these things are going to do. Turmeric, turmeric, I can't say that T word. Turmeric, it's the turmeric. hardest word on turmeric. earth to say. And it's, it's really, it's been used for centuries, is right? It's an antibacterial. Oh, we're going to do his hair too. We're going to take a little off the side. Mm -hmm. I'm like. just gonna, I'm just So gonna... we're gonna put a little of this on, mix this all together. Just be careful with turmeric because if you leave it on for a long time, it might stain your skin. Oh. oh. Can that so be used just, as a so good no, self-tanner? Yes. Can we use it so, as a self-tanner? Probably a bit, a little bit more yellow, probably. It's not gonna look quite so nice. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna take so, care of all the zits all, here. Antibacterial, okay. yes, right. and antioxidants and all that kind of, right. and helps to exfoliate, too. Okay, what's next? Okay, so the next one Feels is for good. dry skin. So you're gonna want things that are gonna, impart a lot of moisture and hydration in your right. skin, right? So here we have a strawberry oatmeal mask. You might have heard of a lot of oatmeals and a lot of products that are over the counter, like colloidal oatmeal, because mm. it helps to be really soothing, especially people who have eczema and really dry skin. What and are strawberries? strawberries are alpha hydroxy acids, so they're gonna help to <laughs> Help to exfoliate you. Okay. So and so, we, and then we have avocado oil. Do you this like one avocado oil? Really good. <laughs> so that's it's really it's good. good. <laughs> avocado oil has a lot of vitamins A, D, and E, and fatty acids, and that looks lovely on you. It, it does. feels. I it looks like pimples. Does that's it why feel she good? Probably likes it, it feels it. It great. Yeah. 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 I I am really disappointed that we're doing. Like I just want to <laughs> squeeze things. <laughs> there are there are portion control issues here. Sorry. Okay. Well Sorry. well keep it on there because we have plenty of other face to work with. Right. Oh, good. We want. We have one for aging skin. You don't need this. Oh. But aging skin, we want to help reverse damage from like oxidative stress, right? Like from pollution or smoking or just the environment in general, sun. Yeah. So you want to use a cucumbers, which are really mm, soothing. That that's I actually like. a fruit too, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So it's it's something that's going to help to soothe the skin, but I also anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Well, she said aging oh, skin, nice. dear. And it has, she said you look so It has beautiful. aloe vera in it as well. And we have Greek yogurt and lemon juice is really good because it's going to help to lighten some brown spots maybe and also help to exfoliate. Expo you look cute like that. Do I? Very cute, yes. I, if I could. <laughs> um. It looks like you were eating and you missed your mouth. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the latest skin trend, slugging plus more masks. Avocado is one of my favorite things, so let's get to that. We'll taste it too. We'll be right back. All right. Oh, we're back with home skincare remedies. With Dr. Sandra Lee, also known as Dr. Pimple Popper, season seven. Wow, congratulations. Can you That's believe? I, I, well, I can believe seven <gasps> seasons. I want to watch this show for the rest of my life, every yeah. day. Well, great. I love that. What's I the best part about doing this show? The, the patience. I mean, you know, you, you forget about how much the show is just such a wonderful, feel-good show when you're in the middle of it. You know, when right. you go back and you watch, you're like, wow. You know, you really do change people's yeah, lives so in nice. a very pro... You know, I always talk, because we all like, you know, we all like extractions. Who yes. doesn't? We want to squeeze out the blackheads. We want to squeeze our whiteheads. We want to, you know... When you get an oozing cyst, I am front and center. Yes. Doesn't bother me at right. all. It's but very satisfying. There are people that right. are suffering from extreme and rare conditions, and you change their lives, and I find it like, like heart wrenching. It, it means so much to me that I get to have this opportunity to do this, and I get to watch it. You know, yeah. you that's so cool. To me, though, I'm on TikTok, and everybody's talking about slugging. Yes. What is what is slugging? Slugging. slugging. 
slugging is when you smear petrolatum or Vaseline on your skin. And that's actually really good during the winter months because it's so dry and it helps to kind of lock in that moisture. In fact, though, I did this back in the 80s. I used to put, because I'm really dry, so I put a layer of Vaseline. If you're really oily, you might not love doing that. You might boxing. spot treat. For yes, right, true. Of course, right. Or, you know, if you're a long distance runner or something mm -hmm. and areas rub, right, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But it's a really good thing to lock in moisture. And it actually also helps to increase the penetration of products. Like if you're using retinol or something like that underneath there, it actually increases so the So you put that on later? You after? can put it on after the after. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Last two masks. Yes. We have okay. avocado He's at green this one. tea. Right. Yeah, the avocado. Because you like good. avocados. Yeah. Yes. So you will probably enjoy this one. This one has avocado, green tea, What's and that aloe. Do? And this is for redness. So with redness, you want to constrict those blood vessels and you want to soothe the skin. So caffeine is in green tea, mm -hmm. and caffeine will temporarily vasoconstrict, so, so help to lighten the redness. And then you're also going to have that avocado, which has mm. so many vitamins you in it. Some in oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> He's eating it. Is that okay? It's high in, in chlorophyll. <laughs> and lutein. What? Yes, it's okay. Does it taste any good? Do you want me to it's got aloe vera in it. Do you want me to brush your tongue? I don't know if you want to eat that. It, it, You're yeah, going to be well oiled. It, it wasn't the game day grub you day. <laughs> You're going to be well oiled. And then, and then the last one is for dark spots because ah. a lot of us have to deal with those. And mm -hmm. you want to look for something that's going to inhibit the melanin production, which is what leads to what we call wisdom spots. I don't like to call them age spots. Oh, yeah, 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 right. And, and um, so licorice po root powder is in there, lemon juice, which is going to help exfoliate. We got more honey. We got more yogurt. And actually, there's even little grapes there. So you can spot treat. If you got like one spot that's pesky, you can probably like just stick a little grape Kelly's on gonna there. Kelly's going to body paint yourself Because that's going to help to exfoliate. Yes. Um, do you, does anybody mind if I take my clothes off will that make <laughs> let's get to the break for that dr lee thank you so much oh, for coming so great welcome. to see a new season of dr I pimple popper premieres wednesday february 16th 9 p.m tlc for these masked recipes and more visit our website up next we're cooking chicken parm bites for the big game after the break with